When the plane returns from its mission, the armorer should be on hand and immediately take from the camera the magazine containing the exposed film, the photographic record of the mission. He promptly sends the magazine to the film processing laboratory where experienced technicians put it through the various processes of developing, printing, and editing until the once raw film becomes a finished motion picture ready to be screened. The film is now threaded in a 16 millimeter projector equipped with a special scoring screen. The pictures are analyzed by trained scorers who go through the complete scoring procedure to determine whether the actual or simulated fire resulted in hits or misses. The film can be stopped so that any single frame can be studied closely. The approximate range is determined from the size of the target on the screen. Length of burst is timed according to the length of the scene. In this way, the scorers check the progress of each individual gunner. Whether it's installed in a combat airplane or a trainer, the Army-Navy gun camera must be serviced right and operated right. To help show the pilot or gunner when he fired his gun, how long his bursts were, and how well he picked his aiming point. Thus, a known miss in training can be corrected to a sure hit in combat. <laughs> 